Uh, hello, my name is Saray, and I'm very conscious that uh, I'm here among the small minority simply because I'm a regulator and uh, not a typical entrepreneur. Um, but like entrepreneur, we also have to establish new rules and infrastructure that could either result in failure or success. But unlike entrepreneur, our failure is more public and it has more perilous uh, repercussions, especially uh, the market sentiments and confidence. My story started uh, when I was tasked to establish Cambodia First Credit Bureau, a centralized credit information sharing database. People used to call the bureau my baby, and I would reply that it was the longest pregnancy I've ever had. I was carrying this baby for three years, and I was determined to deliver it. Now, in 2006, with a grant of a multilateral organization, the central bank, NBC, established and run a negative credit information sharing system. Unfortunately, the system was barely used, even by those who volunteered and was bought with um, bugs. And then in 2009, I requested another multilateral organization to come and have an independent assessment of our system. Um, and they came with the result that was very bad. The system was irreparable. So NBC um, didn't have the technical expertise and resources to maintain the system and even less to run it uh, financially uh, sustainable, uh, to make it financially sustainable and um, scalable. But to be fair to us, uh, running a credit bureau require a niche expertise, and uh, we just didn't have it. So I went to my boss and I told her that uh, we needed a new bureau and we needed a privately run one. Her first question to me was, what am I going to do with the existing one? And naively I said, We'll throw it away. Now, understanding the potential conflicting situation that we were going to be in, um, she asked me to be uh, in the first line of, of defense um, and to lead the uh, Credit Bureau Establishment Initiative. So, ladies and gentlemen, here start my long pregnancy. Now, first I had to deal with two multilateral organizations, um, who first, the first one who helped us establish the Credit Bureau, and the second one was going to be the one who would advise us to establish the new one. And each refused to relinquish. I was trapped in the middle and I had to arbitrate uh, the power struggle between two giants. So I needed help. I took the opportunity to speak to the then newly elected chairman of the Bank Association, who was very keen to leave a legacy um, on his chairmanship. And I asked him to announce that the private sector, or the association, um, wanted a newly and privately run credit bureau. Now, by relegating the private credit bureau uh, initiative to the bankers' association, it saved me from having to choose sides. Um, indeed, we couldn't afford to choose uh, between these uh, multilateral organizations because both were and remained um, a very important development partners for the country and not just for the NBC. And our choice could have badly uh, reflected on other developmental projects. However, these organizations have no mandate on the private sector, and so the association could choose to do whatever best for them. Now, admitting my failure hurt my pride, but most importantly, my institution credibility. But I was determined that I will have to remedy that. With the power trusted on me by my boss came the immense responsibility on my shoulders. I had to face many confrontational meetings. I was young, under pressure, and I remember walking from some, from some of those meetings broken and crying. But I needed to get this baby out. Finally, it was agreed that we didn't have to use the old system and that we could just move with the new one. For the next 15 months, I lived and breathed Credit Bureau. First, we had to lay the regulatory framework for the licensing and functioning of the Credit Bureau. And without any prior knowledge, I had to trust my gut feelings and the researches that I did. We decided that we would make checking and uploading the credit information compulsory. Um, and also, we're going to upload both negative and positive informations. 
these two points end up the two critical points that lead to our success, but also the two points that I had to fight the most with the financial industry. We also had to decide that, uh, decide that a representative of the NBC should also be sit on the board to ensure that everyone plays by the rules, uh, both the technology provider who were keen to recoup their investment early and the bankers who were dragging their legs. I was appointed, therefore, to and elected to become the chairman of, chairwoman of the company ever since. The fact that we shared the same shareholders with Credit Bureau Singapore, one of the best in the world, also helped us tremendously in the transfer of knowledge. Now, when the time came to call in the capital contribution, I learned that bankers weren't the kind who would pay on time, although they were very good at enforcing it on their customer. They raised many excuses. In brief, they just wanted it for free. And to those who drag their feet and offer to have an on-site inspection by the NBC quickly resolve the problem. Now that the credit bureau is uh, set up, incorporated, we had to work on the product development and the pricing. The bureau needed to be sustainable financially and continue to innovate um, and should also not abuse of its monopoly uh, in the market. The pricing, therefore, should be fair. A, con a consumer credit report was initially set at uh, three US dollar. The microfinance sector raised concern over such pricing on their small ticket size customers and suggested that banks should subsidize MFI, um, who provided lending to the poor segment of the market that banks themselves didn't want to go to. From a social responsibility perspective, um, they were not wrong. But the banking sector argue against this proposal by giving an example of two people going to the market. They said, we both want to buy the same fish at the market. The fish should therefore cost the same whether you are rich or poor. And again, from a free market perspective, uh, they're not wrong either. But as a woman, I knew something about fish. I know that fresh fish cost more than frozen fish. So we had to differentiate the reports. We therefore created two types of credit reports, the light report, which carries the minimum information enough for small ticket loan size and sell to MFI at a fraction of a cost, and another one we call full report that we sell to banks at full price. Now, everyone is more or less happy with the arrangement, but many other issues came up. To me, everything has a solution. If there is a will, there is a way. Two years later, in 2012, Credit Bureau Cambodia went live. My baby is finally born. And the rapid adoption rate was not seen anywhere in the world. We became a success story of a private credit, privately run credit bureau for developing countries and hosted many regulators and bureau operators around the world to share our experience. In 2017, thanks to CBC and the regulatory framework supporting it, Cambodia's ease of access to finance moves to number seven worldwide uh, from 98th in 2012. This year, CBC celebrates its 10th anniversary and continue to thrive. So what did I learn through this journey? One, know when to admit your failure and ask for help. It is, a common, it is not common for regulator to admit their failure. The market would, would judge us negatively, but please know that we are humans and we all make mistakes. Not only I admitted my failure, but I also asked the help from the industry themselves, the very one who were supposed to look up to us. Admittedly, regulators aren't God, and we don't know everything. Two, empowering your subordinate is the best way to teach them to get them to do the right work responsibly. I was scared, but ultimately thankful to my former boss for allowing me to lead this project. And I think younger generation aren't just after money, but I also want recognition in doing meaningful work that have positive impact on the society. Three, there should be a give and take. Incentive should be provided um, when good is done and punishment also to be given when it is bad. And by creating a good discipline and predictable outcomes, we are creating this credibility by um, the, set, the regulators. Now, getting bank and microfinance together to agree on a common credit bureau is not easy. Few countries in the world achieve this, and building trust and credibility that allowed this industry to go with our idea was critical. Four, I am proud to be born a woman, 
and to be a women leader, I did think men would have found a way to solve the frozen and live fish dilemma, at least not readily. A women instinct follows me around, and despite critics, I am proud to use my instinct in problem solving. I am not always calculative, and I do my work from the heart. Five, I learned that bankers weren't the kind who would pay on time, but they are good at enforcing it on their customers. So my time is up. Thank you very much. Thank you.